The first officers right now are looking for several men who took off from an Albuquerque drug rehab program. Now, these are the guys that the Department of Corrections is looking for. Officials say these men jumped a fence early yesterday morning and went running. They are all on probation or parole. If you see any of these men, you're asked to call police. You will not believe what we learned one state legislator here in New Mexico is putting on his campaign's expense account, back massages. Representative Miguel Garcia here, who represents South Valley, says he has a very legitimate reason to expense his massages. However, a group called NewMexicoWatchdog.org disagrees and says it's quite illegal. I've had four back injuries, and, uh, and during the campaign season, uh, sciatic nerve kicks in, especially from door to door and getting in and out of the car. Representative Garcia used tax-free campaign funds to pay for massages, spinal adjustments, and wellness items, he calls them. That watchdog group is also asking questions about Garcia's rail runner tickets and mileage expenses. And we called Secretary of State Diana Duran to ask about Garcia's expenses, but she never got back with us. The man who robbed a bank and killed two innocent women in his getaway two years ago will most likely spend the rest of his life in federal prison. Jeremiah Jackson got that life sentence yesterday. He robbed a bank in the Heights back in 2010. As police were chasing him right after that, Jackson slammed into a car at a red light and killed Janice Flores and Kimberly Aragon Nunez. And during his trial, Jackson tried to blame police for this, claiming the crash would not have happened if they weren't chasing him. But yesterday, he said he regrets what he did. It did sound very sincere. Um, I think he did this uh, that it might reduce some type of sentence. It made him a little bit more human, but he still didn't seem very sincere about it. Jackson will probably never get out of prison because life in federal prison literally means you spend the rest of your life behind bars. A former St. Pius football star has pleaded guilty to killing his brother. Zach Paget entered that plea yesterday. Investigators say Paget shot his older brother and buried him in a shallow grave in their father's basement back in 2008. He says he did it to save the world from a, quote, conspiracy. Paget had been held in a state mental hospital until he was more recently ruled competent. He faces up to 21 years in prison. The man charged with murdering his ex-girlfriend and her nephew last month in Albuquerque has pleaded not guilty. Brian Pulliam is accused of shooting Kirsten Landau and Dylan Searfoss at a home the day after police say Kristen broke up with him. The suspect's bond is at $1 million cash only. He faces life in prison. Should a deaf man who's accused of molesting two kids in Albuquerque get out of jail again? That's what a judge is set to decide later today. Investigators say Christopher Wayne Williamson molested a five-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl a few years ago. He was out of jail on bond, but got arrested in July after police say he violated the conditions of his original release. Heads up, you may want to hear or you may hear an explosion near Kirtland Air Force Base today, but no need to worry. The Sandia National Laboratories is conducting a test south of the base. They tell us you may hear a small explosion and even see black smoke. The test will take place between 7 a.m. and 5 this afternoon. Oh, three popular and powerful U.S. Senators are set to be in Albuquerque today. Senators John McCain, Lindsey Graham and Kelly Ayotte will be here to campaign for Republican Heather Wilson as she runs for the U.S. Senate. Now, they have not publicly said exactly where that fundraiser will be just yet. And have you seen some of the buildings at UNM recently? A lot of people say they badly need to be fixed, but right now the state simply does not have the money to do that. But you can change that by voting yes for Bond C in November. Now there's a billboard off the interstate promoting Bond C that you may have noticed. We wanted to find out exactly what this initiative is all about, so we sent our News 13's David Report Romero out to report on this. He is live at UNM right now. Good morning, David. Good morning, Elizabeth. Well, uh, creating jobs, fixing up universities and colleges, all without raising taxes. The decision lies in your hands come November 6th. What would you do with $119 million? This November, you can help 29 colleges and universities in New Mexico, including UNM, get that money by voting yes for Bond C. And it's money the group called Geo Bond for Education says the schools definitely need for everything from making classrooms more modern to fixing up old and in some case very rundown buildings. Even even labs that I'm working in now that they're they're newer parts of the building but um, ceilings are, are are leaking and uh, and and the new part of the building is is incomplete and um, 
if we don't have if we don't have good places to work, then then we're not gonna we're not gonna su succeed. I see what other universities look like and how important um, just even just the quality of buildings and classrooms. And I think it's definitely a, a students will decide to go here or not if they're in working condition. At UNM's main campus, 19 million is slated to go to renovate the chemistry and biology buildings. Another 19 million would also go to NMSU. GEO for Education says the bond would create at least 1,200 jobs and it would keep more college students in New Mexico, something the governor talked about last week. We have to prepare our students not only uh, as they graduate from the college and the universities um, in order to take those jobs, those high paying jobs, those technical jobs, um, so they don't leave our state so that they create jobs here. They are the entrepreneurs, but we have to make sure that our kids are prepared. And one UNM official I spoke with said some of the uncompleted work on the buildings remains that way because a similar bond question failed two years ago when it went before voters. Back to you. Interesting, David. Thank you. UNM officials say if the bond does not pass, they will have to look for other sources of revenue to get their buildings fixed. All right, 538.